intelligent consciousness doesn't require quantum physics. That an entity is not really intelligent unless it has the quality of understanding. The topic of artificial intelligence and, and how far uh, we can go with the machines we're building and what levels of function they will attain is super relevant. Eugene is a, is a good friend and, and uh, you know, he's the CEO and founder of Brain, Brain Corporation. Roger really needs no introduction. I will humbly try to just say a few words. Roger's a mathematician, a, a, a mathematical physicist, a cosmologist. Um, he's a, he's a, a fellow at uh, Oxford, uh, a very well-known author. So if you think of a, of a computer or a brain as a computer of neurons, the question is if you can simulate a neuron and you have enough of them um, and you connect them with the right architecture, can you actually create a brain that has the capability of consciousness or conscious learning? What, what is, what's intelligence? What's the definition of intelligence? We have definition of information and entropy, but how you define intelligence? And do you need to be conscious to be intelligent? Every aspect of human intelligence that you can imagine, if it has any application to business or any application to any practical application, the, the algorithm has already surpassed it or will surpass it next year. But this is a, a new technology which is going to influence things in a tremendous way. I completely agree with that. But it's not going to take over the jobs which we use our understanding for because it doesn't have that quality. There must be something in our understanding which is not computational. Is my cell phone intelligent? Uh, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why it's called smartphone. <laughs> My favorite definition is definition that I heard from Edelman. Consciousness is something that appears when you wake up and disappears when you go to the office. <laughs> In the field of consciousness right now, we're at the same stage as information theory before Claude Shannon. Well, we need, we desperately need to define this because once you define it, you can measure it, you can simulate it, you can prove things about it or disprove things about it. If we're really going to understand consciousness, we have to develop our physical theories too. So understanding is not computational.